Good afternoon, everybody. Colin here with TechOut. It's been about 24 hours since I installed the Android 11 preview on my Pixel 4 XL, and I just wanted to go over some of the bugs and the battery life situation I'm having here on my Pixel 4. And uh, so far for bugs, I haven't really seen anything major. Uh, yesterday I was experiencing some issues where I would get a message when swiping back home from an app that the Pixel Launcher keeps stopping. Um, that happened about three or four times. Uh, after I rebooted my phone, though, it seems to have stopped. I haven't had that issue. Uh, since yesterday afternoon when I did that reboot. Battery life um, has not really been affected by this build um, so far. I'm getting in between about five hours, five and a half hours of screen on time. Um, right now I'm at 85% and I'm at an hour and 12 minutes. On my Pixel I do keep the screen brightness pretty much up there. I run it about 95% without auto brightness. Um, so, so far for the battery life we are doing very good, especially for a first build of a developer preview. Um, that was about what I was experiencing on the Android 10 uh, side of things as well. It was about four to five and a half hours, depending on my usage. Um, any other thing bug-wise, the only other bug I'm having is if I open a media message, a picture, a video, something like that sent to me in a text or WhatsApp, when I go to the keyboard after that, this doesn't matter if I'm using the Gboard, which is the stock keyboard on the Pixel, or if I'm using something like SwiftKey, um, the text prediction bar on the top does not show up and the autocorrect does not work. And if you start typing and you mess up and you go to backspace, you have to, t you have to tap backspace continuously um, a few times to get it to actually start backspacing. To correct this issue, you just have to go out of the message and come back in and then it starts working again. So I'm not sure what's up with that. I have reported that as a bug. But like I said, it does affect multiple apps and multiple keyboards. So it looks like it is some compatibility issue on um, Android 11. Something to do with picture messages or opening links. I don't really know what's going on there. Um, but it does occur every single time. Um, it's not an intermittent issue. It does occur every time. Like I said, I have reported that as a bug. Everything else has been working just fine though. Um, no Wi-Fi issues, no cellular issues, um, no app crashes or anything like that. Other than, like I said, the Pixel Launcher was uh, kept stopping um, a few times until I restarted my phone and then it seems to have fixed itself. Um, so I'm not even going to really count that as a bug. It looks like that hiccup is resolved. Um, I did report that is as well though just so they could take a look at it. But for the first build of a developer preview, um, very, very impressed on the stability. Again, don't recommend installing this on your daily driver device. Um, and Google even says that. Do not install this on a daily driver. Um, if you're an early adopter or you want to try out Android 11, wait a little bit longer. In the next few weeks, they will come out with the um, over-the-air update for the Beta 1 build. Um, and you can download that over the air. It looks like we're probably going to be maybe April or May before that comes out um, from the timeline they gave. Um, this update did come out about, about a month early though, so I don't know if we will see that um, any earlier as well. Um, but if so, we could see it as early as March or April. But don't keep your hopes up. They probably won't have that until after um, Google I.O. I'm Colin with TechOut. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And as always, have a great day.